Wild Go On Bruh, 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 welcome back to another installment of Edutainment, the place where you're laughing, being entertained, but most importantly, where you're learning something that you can apply it to your own personal life and make it better. Now, today's topic, authentic or charlatan? Now, when I talk about the concept of like buying courses online or programs online, my mindset, especially when it comes to the money making courses or money making programs, is that you always pay it in cash and don't go into debt for a said program. Like me personally, um, when you when you buy these courses, oftentimes they don't tell you the back end costs associated with the program. So you have the program itself, which may be, I don't know, $500, $300. But then there's also, let's say in, in, the, in the case of Amazon FBA, so e-commerce, you buy their knowledge for the course, the program, then you have to buy the actual products, then you have to buy the actual ad spend to promote said program for Shopify, Amazon FB, or whatever. Like they don't always tell you the total cost that can be that, that can arise from your business. And this is where some of the deceptive tactics of the, the, the deceptive marketing comes into play runs a huge multi-million dollar business now. Here are all of the ads Kevin is currently running on Facebook and Instagram. Kevin, if you want to be transparent, one great idea for content is to make a video detailing your current income sources. I think people want to see. Running this many ads tells me your focus is on selling courses. He has multiple online. Not only should you also see the income sources or the income, the total revenue, but you should also see the expenses. So that you have the total picture of the actual profit. A lot of times they don't show you the revenue. They don't show you the expenses, like the ad spend, the order cost to market it, and whatever. They just show you the profit. Always be mindful of seeing the total picture, the total outcome of the business venture. The, the expenses, the revenue, and then most importantly, the profit. And courses, he's a YouTuber and he runs an Amazon FBA business. The new big product that he's selling is an automated Amazon FBA business. I decided to enter my email so I can be sent to the video sales page. Kevin, buddy, this is starting to get into the gray area of marketing. Amazon automation is for people who want a predictable return on an investment that pays better than traditional investments. Those are pretty strong claims. There's nothing like a guy promoting the ability to make unimaginable amounts of money on Amazon with a clear grammatical mistake. This is where the claims get a little murky, Kevin. This is not an ethical way to promote your business. It's very misleading because the implication is that you will make a lot of money if you join. How we eliminate risk. This is something you hear from an amateur sales pitch. Anyone who knows anything about business will tell you that there is always risk. Risk always exists. Just a minute ago, Kevin was promoting an investment vehicle that can make more money than other investment vehicles, and it even comes with no risk. In this section, he says that they will help you find your proven home run products. He also pitches that this is a completely done for you system. You sign up and pay the fee, they do all of the work, and then you have a huge Amazon business. Sounds totally legit. If you're watching this and aren't aware of how challenging Amazon FBA is, go talk to someone running a business in FBA and see how hard they work. Kevin says in the presentation, the funny thing is that before I started taking YouTube seriously, I was doing like wholesale Amazon FBA. So essentially it was, I was contacting the brand and trying to help them get more reviews, respond to negative reviews, uh, get more ad spend on Amazon, stuff like that. So I had a whole website and obviously the, actually my, my company right now, as of right now, is based on the same name, like Flip the Script OCS Incorporated, Unconventional Saving OCS. But I realized, yo, <laughs> I paid, I think I remember paying like 2000 no, yeah, like $2,000 almost, or $1,000 I think was the cost of the program, for the, the wholesale formula, I believe it was called, $1,000 for the cost of the program, then it's actually getting a website and an email software to be like, consider a legit business and to like actually come off as like a professional then it's the actual webs and then it's the actual like buying the product and <laughs> long story short I ended up going into almost like twelve thousand dollars of credit card debt because of that it wasn't consumer debt but it was like business expenses that I was accumulating because I was had the mindset oh I'm gonna get profit back right anytime you make an expense like business wise don't assume you're getting profit, especially when it comes to products. Like the funny thing about Amazon FBA is like it's a marketplace, right? So usually the lowest price on the, the offer is what gets shown in the buy box. But if everybody is constantly going for the lowest price, you see how the margin gets smaller and smaller. So that's why I'm just, I'm just like, let me just do YouTube. The the costs are lean, and the only cost really is my time and energy. A beginner entrepreneur, you should not be doing Amazon FBA or e-commerce or Shopify. Just start with YouTube, learn how to market yourself, learn how to drive sales by reviewing products that you currently use. And then once you have more of a higher risk tolerance, 
then you can be you can dive into more of the uh, bigger business ventures. But for me, just know that I went into twelve thousand dollars of credit card debt. That might not be your case, but that is just something to keep keep in mind. That they want to under promise and over deliver. They just made the claim of unimaginable amounts of money being made and that they eliminated risk. How exactly are they under promising and over delivering? I will not speak about any of Kevin's courses, but I will focus on the marketing. Making money online is ridiculously difficult. Even if Kevin's courses are the best in the business, a very small amount of people will actually succeed. That's just the nature of the game. Nowhere in Kevin's marketing is there mention of the difficulty of actually turning a profit and how little students run profitable Amazon FBA businesses. In December 2017, Kevin released a video detailing how much money he made on Amazon using the FBA method, which I really appreciated the transparency. He claims about a 55% profit margin on his products, which seems really high compared to what others have told me their profit margin is, but there's no way of knowing this number, so we have to take him at his word. It's impossible for me to say if all of these numbers are faked or if they're accurate. CoffeeZilla's video about Kevin is pretty telling, and please watch that if you want to hear more behind the scenes of Kevin's FBA course selling businesses. Kevin followed the formula of the young click millionaires of the 2010s decade. Step one, sell products on Amazon. Step two, sell a course on selling products on Amazon. Step three, start a YouTube channel with videos describing how people can make money online. Step four, create a Facebook group to funnel people into your products. Step five is to begin selling additional courses and so like when I started my Amazon course um, 13 months ago uh, yesterday actually uh, I started this and then I was, I was teaching people how to do Amazon FBA and you know we've made over three million dollars since uh, we launched that what happened with a lot of these gurus is that they had a little success in one make money online niche they were able to make a course selling the concept they then start a YouTube channel with videos about making a lot of money, flashing expensive cars, and using catchy titles to grow a following. In life, all you need is one win to blow up. Once you start making money, adding a second income stream is significantly easier. And that's why I call this the win stack method. One win becomes two, two wins becomes three, and before you know it, the guru is making something like 50K a month from multiple sources of income. Kevin's YouTube channel was initially called That Ninja Lifestyle. He was able to grow the channel to nearly 100,000 subscribers talking about Amazon FBA and the success he was having on Amazon. Using the Wayback Machine, it was sometime between April and June 2018 where Kevin decided to convert from an Amazon FBA only channel to a make money online channel. Stick around for another minute and I'm going to give you the exact formula for making a bunch of money on YouTube. For those of you who don't know YouTube that well, the make money online niche is a gold rush. The CPM is really high, upwards of 30 to $40 in some cases, which means videos talking about these topics can get you 30 to $40 per 1,000 monetized views. For ref So, <laughs> that's why for me personally, uh, I talk about marijuana addiction, but I also talk about like ClickBank and passive income. Quick intermission. I mix it up because my marijuana addiction videos usually get sometimes it's very iffy. Sometimes you get demonetized, sometimes they're monetized. But essentially I mix it up so that I can compensate for the lack of ad revenue I usually get from my marijuana addiction videos, which usually take more time to produce. I'll just mostly just talk about ClickBank and like financial awareness, right? When I talk about how to make money, I don't talk about ClickBank, I talk about Amazon affiliates, and that's about it. Because those are the two things that I know that most people for the most part can do it and it's like just too there's not there's not that much risk associated, right? It's nothing it's nothing to really review a, a laptop or to review a, a skincare product that you currently use, right? So for you personally, what you can do is review any item that you currently use often. Then what you can do, make a video on it, go to Amazon Associates program, Amazon Affiliates, sign up, sign up get get an affiliate link and then leave it in the description of your video. That's probably one of the best ways, easy way, not easy, but low barrier of entry, I should say, or uh, low risk ways, there you go. Not easy, but low risk ways to start making money online, right? And then obviously, you can also talk about uh, just how much money you make at your current job. Obviously, <laughs> you may not wanna share how much money you make, but making money online, how to make money, how other, uh, income sources or jobs that make money anything around money typically typically makes more money with less views so if you want to share your income source as a hairstylist as a computer engineer at so-and-so company or whatever just in general how much you make in a month how much you make in a year yo <laughs> that's how you finesse the system or that's how you capitalize on the market share of make money online essentially 
difference. A lot of channels in the viral entertaining niche maybe get $1 for every thousand views. That means viral entertaining videos need up to 40 times the amount of monetized views for the same amount of YouTube ad revenue as someone talking about making money online. I think Kevin realized that he can play the YouTube algorithm and make a significant amount of money as a YouTube make money guru. Hey Kevin, how much money did you make on YouTube in 2019? We can see that we made over 400,000. That's a ridiculous amount of money. He grew to over 1 million subscribers recently and is now a full-time make money online guru on YouTube. Does anyone want to know the exact formula for making huge money on YouTube? Step one, find a high CPM niche like make money online. Step two, find five to 10 channels in this niche with huge followings. Step three, two to three months after these authorities release a video, you copy the thumbnail and title and add a small twist to the video. Step four, you find the keywords in the video's page source and copy them into your video. Step five, stick with it until your channel blows up. This next section will be fun. We are going to analyze Kevin's YouTube thumbnails and titles and see just how coincidental it was that there was another channel that had the same thumbnail and title. If any of you watched the NBA dunk contest, we're going to be applying a score to how coincidental these thumbnails and titles are. Because Kevin does not copy thumbnails and titles, I need to make that very clear. It's all coincidental. It's October 2018 and Kevin decides to make a video on how many income streams he's built. He certainly did not go to YouTube to figure out a good title and keywords to use. Body positioning, finger pointing, shirt color, item being held, content on the whiteboard, and color of the background are all coincidental. Let's all look at the keywords used for this video. You can find these by right clicking on the page of the video, selecting view page source, and finding the third instance of the term keywords. I copy pasted the list to be easier on your eyeballs. Kevin just happened by miracle to use the exact same keywords. This one is a 10 out of 10 on the coincidence scale. I think Kevin released the video and realized how similar his video was to Ryan's and didn't want people to think he was copying content. He made some new videos and made sure that they didn't match other videos. Here's three examples. This deserves a 6 out of 10 on the coincidence scale. But Kevin probably noticed that his view numbers were down, so he decided to get more creative and branch out into other ways to make money online. These all earn a 10 out of 10 on the coincidence scale. This is truly a small world that so many people think just alike when it comes to content creation. But what if Kevin wanted to mess with our brains a little further and show just how crazy of a world it is where two people can even begin talking alike? Apparently there was also a black market where people charged thousands of dollars to hook you up with verification, but more likely they would probably just take your money and disappear. Or you know, you could actually go and try to pay thousands of dollars on the black market to have somebody verify you most of the time, which you'd actually just get your money stolen and not in fact get the beautiful blue check mark. Definitely a 10 out of 10 on the coincidence scale. At some point you realize that there is a strategy on YouTube that I'll refer to as playing the algorithm game. You may not be surprised to find Dan Locke twice here. Dan Locke got big because he is really good at playing the algorithm. His videos contain the most generic and vague advice because he's just following the formula and there's enough sheep out there to follow along. This is just blatantly stealing, but you may be surprised to see that there are a lot of channels that copy other content. You may hate on Kevin for doing this, but he isn't alone. Once YouTubers end up making- Obviously, <laughs> this is how you play the algorithm game. I'm to necessarily like copy the content or copy the title, but obviously add your own twist, add your own perspective on it. But obviously you can also use bigger YouTubers name or bigger content creators names in your title to get more traffic to your own page. Because sometimes when you uh, type in uh, a YouTuber that you watch often, uh, somebody else who made a video on that YouTuber might pop up higher up in the search results and then you click on that video. And then that's how you get traction to a different channel. <laughs> Money online niche, figure out what works, they just copy and paste and they don't even try and hide it. Here Kevin even copies himself. The first video reached 2.7 million views, so why not use the same thumbnail again? Here's another instance of pure coincidence. We're gonna talk about three ways that you can turn $50 into $100 a day in passive income. Three ways you can turn a $50 investment into a $100 a day passive income. Now I'm not gonna lie, once you have passive income, it truly changes your life. I'm not gonna lie, once you have passive income, a very strange thing happens. It completely changes your life. Now I've heard people like Gary Vee say that passive income doesn't exist. And there's some people like Gary Vee who, you know, preach the hustle mentality. This leads us to a philosophical debate about where the line should be drawn for creators. I would be lying if I told you that I wasn't influenced by people and that videos of mine aren't directly influenced by a video someone else made. This specific video definitely was influenced by CoffeeZilla and Tom Nash exposing Kevin months ago, but there's certainly a line for copying and influencing. So you may have heard the saying that money makes money. Well, today I'm going to show you that actually you don't need money to make money. So you may have heard the saying that it takes money to make money, but in this video, I am going all right, so essentially what I always say in the event of buying courses online or programs that you that have no direct like outcome or end result, like we cut, when I talk about like quitting, quitting marijuana, quitting addiction, there's an end goal, there's an end result, right? Either you quit your addiction with the program or you didn't, straightforward. Or you were to lose weight and uh, get in better shape within a month, within two weeks, within three weeks with, with your fitness program or you weren't. But with the make money online niche, it's like very uh, ambiguous. You don't really know whether or not the program is to blame or you, your, your lack of effort is to blame. So never go into debt for, for, for programs 
use it in cash, pay it in cash, and ha honestly take into account or have a, a better perspective on the total cost of the program before you really dive deep into the whole thing. But yo, God bless, much love, peace, and joy. Namaste. Always remember, if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. Uh, shout out to Spencer Cornelia, do a video, and flip the script. I'm out. I know you know.